Hello all, today is another fragrance video and I am going to give you a quick rundown of the fragrances I'm running out of. Now I did film that video pretty recently, but since then I've used up quite a few other perfumes, so I think an update is overdue. Um, these are fragrances that I'm running low on, things that I'm using all the time, things that are uh, I am um, about to use up completely, so stuff that you can probably expect to be in the empties. Let's start with uh, Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. Now, this is a fragrance that I've, I use in the summer, and this past summer I've used it a lot. Um, I suspect that there is maybe about 10 mils left, really not more than that. And I do like my citrus fragrances, so I don't expect this to last very long. Will I be repurchasing Orange Sanguine in the future, which is a um, kind of a bittersweet orange popsicle sort of uh, scent, which I really, really enjoy. Um, I will probably be repurchasing this um, in the future, but I'm going to make it last as long as possible, run out of it completely, and then I'll get a refill. This is a 30 ml bottle um, and it has my my name engraved on it so that was a really sweet sweet um, thing to do for the fragrance boutique. Then I have a wonderful little piece that is not going to be for everyone but this is one of those skin scents that um, I am a big fan of but it's not going to work for everybody. This is Petit Garland I will want to talk about it in more detail, more specifically about this fragrance. Uh, Petit Garland from Garland. This is a, an eau de toilette concentration. I have a 100 ml bottle. I have less than half of it left, so I'm de definitely running low. If this is a fragrance you want to overspray a little bit. The idea is, is that it's for Garland for babies. It's not for babies, it's for whoever likes the scent. And this is um, supposed to be imitating a baby smell, which it kind of does. It does have this um, soft wafts of um, freshness and coziness. Um, it is a scent that is heavily based on lavender, so it's pretty universal, I think pretty unisex. It is gentle as when, it, when you apply it. It has a certain uh, je ne sais quoi to it, but it dissipates and it really becomes a comforting, comforting scent of beautiful, clean, um, sun-dried laundry in the meadows of uh, French Riviera. <laughs> so completely gorgeous. I am a very big fan of it for a skin scent. So if you like a scent that doesn't smell like perfume, uh, Petit Galant is just a masterpiece in my mind, but it's a very specific kind of perfume that's not going to work for everyone. If you like to smell like perfume and you want others to notice, Probably this is not going to be it. If you want to, to to just create that cozy, beautiful, dreamy wafting of something around you and for people not to say, oh, I like your perfume, but to think this person smells awful good, something, what is this? There's something special about it. Then that's the vibe that Petit Guerlain is creating and I love it and I think after I'm done with this guy I will repurchase it I like it that much and that's not it's not often that I find something that I haven't used before that I'm like repurchase I'm fairly confident that this is going to be one of those um, then we have another fresh citrus this is Limon Verde from Aqua Allegoria also from Guerlain um, as you can see I'm halfway through this fragrance it is uh, something that is smells exactly like a, a, a green grassy lime. That's that's what it smells like to me. I like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure that this will be a repurchase for me. I think I will probably go for something like Herba Fresca next time. I really enjoy that as well. But Limon Vert is a wonderful green citrus. If you like green citruses, this is going to be up your alley. Um, I will continue using it. It's a huge bottle. It's not a toilet. It wears okay, not great, um, but green and uh, limey and just delightful for the summer. Very, very fresh. Like, really strong like. I may repurchase it. Who knows? We'll see. Once I'm out of it, I'll tell you how it goes. Um, this guy made an appearance in a couple of videos similar to this one, and I'm really slowly getting through it. There is maybe 
10 mils left in here. Um, and this is Amour by Kinzo, or the parfum. This is a dry, ricey vanilla. Very beautiful, very elegant, very elevated, special. And I've been purchasing it for a while as well. This is not my first bottle. I will be buying it again. This is a 30 ml bottle, and this is about as 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 big as I want it um, because I actually don't use it that frequently. I do tend to use it in the winter. So I think this is going to be the last winter for Amour. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be done after this season. I am very much in like with this beautiful, beautiful vanilla. If you are a fan of vanilla and you want an elevated, gorgeous vanilla scent, do try Amour. It is a very special vanilla. Um, beloved by me. We have an almost finished, also less than 10 ml probably in here, um, Kenzo Flower, another fragrance, another parfum that I've been buying for years and years. So this is really not new for me at all. Um, this is a, a beautiful, very sweet violet scent, very powdery. So if you're a fan of sweet powders, then flower is something you probably have already because this is like an OG of sweet powders. Everybody in 2000s was like super crazy about it and wearing it all of the time. It is a beautiful violet scent. Um, I do prefer violets that are in the Balenciaga Paris. Those are my favorite violets, but sometimes if I want something more punchy and less delicate and more sweet, then I will go for the flower. Um, this is going to be a repurchase as well. I'll probably take a break from it once I finish it. This is going to be done in, this, in, the, in, the, in the winter as well. I'm certain that this is not going to last more than a month or two maybe for me. So this is a 30 ml bottle. It looks bigger because it's tall, um, but there's only 30 mils in here. So this is less than a third of what was in there originally. Beloved fragrance by me, you probably know it very well. Are you wearing this? Tell me, tell me down below. Are you still wearing it since the 2000s? I have a couple of Chanel scents that are running low for me and I'm going to be finishing up. And there's really like really not much left in this Chanel Chance Au Vivre. Au Vivre is something that I've tried from the lineup and it's not my favorite anymore. I do love Au Tendre and I really enjoy Au Fresh lately. This is a new purchase for me. Au Vivre is a beautiful, uh, fresh floral, um, pretty generic I think now in the market when it initially came out it might have been a little bit more unique um, but it's it's a pretty pretty floral I will probably be pulling it out this winter whenever a floral is in 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 my wheelhouse whenever I feel like I want to do a floral this is probably going to be the one I reach for mostly because I want to finish it off I'll probably not be repurchasing it it's tenacious this is another toilette it wears like another parfum for me so if you are looking for a beautifully constructed Chanel floral, um, then Alviva might be something that you're interested in. It's lightweight enough to be pretty wearable, but it's tenacious enough to be an all day fragrance, maybe like five to seven hours easy out of this guy. Um, so uh, there's not much left. It'll be over very, very soon. Um, I have similar feelings as I, as I have towards Chanel um, au vivre as I do about Gabrielle. This is Gabrielle à de Parfum, the original, uh, not the late, latest flanker, which I did enjoy a little bit more. This is another floral floral, maybe a little bit more lively, uh, a little bit more elegant than the au vivre. is a little bit lightweight and simple. More going on in Gabrielle. I think this is for a uh, tasteful young woman. Now, do I think it's a womanly fragrance? No. I think this is a serious college student. That's what we're talking about here. If you like florals, I mean, this is a very, very floral floral. Uh, there's not much to it except for florals. Uh, I do enjoy it, but I don't love it. So I'll probably be finishing it. I may sell it. Uh, I'm not 100% confident on that one yet. I haven't decided. I may give it up just because I don't reach for it as much as I reach for some of the other things in my uh, on my perfume shelf um, or maybe I will continue using it and try to complete it. This is a pretty small bottle. I am happy with the floral scent. I just 
think it lacks personality a little bit just as Aviv does t for me as well if you're a fan of those good for you I'm sure that uh, they suit you very well for me a little bit light on the personality unfortunately I do like the bottle the bottle is pretty uh, on the website they do taught that they've been designing it for five years I'm like that's not five years worth of design really guys come on but um i mean it's likable it's fine it's a nice floral i'm kind of meh on it honestly how do you feel about gabrielle are you a big fan or are you a little underwhelmed as i was when i when i got it um and then we have something that i'm not underwhelmed with uh and i think is just gorgeous i'm not sure i think they stopped producing the nina ricci 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 this is ricci ricci other parfum i'm not sure if they still make it if they do i might even repurchase it i remember being like 20 i think i think around there and like really wanting to wear this and not being able to afford it and just being devastated over it uh, uh it is it is a very sweet fruity floral kind of nocturnal uh, I even don't mind the bottle because it's monochromatic. The bow doesn't bother me. I'm not usually a big fan of bows, but this is a beautiful structured bow, so I don't have as much objection to it, so I actually like the bottle. Um, and for me, this is a, a really lovely, easy to wear, easy to like fragrance, and um, I would recommend it for the lovers of sweet fruity scents. Um, this is an elevated version of something like this, I think the juicy couture which is the next one i'm going to be talking about so nina ricci 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 if you can get your hands on it let me know down below is it discontinued let me know and if it is if you can get your hands on it and you like that sort of scent i would recommend it uh i'm not sure i, I don't think I'll, I'll love it enough to like hunt after it on ebay for ridiculous prices but i do love it enough to finish it off it's it's a very very cute scent um if you are into sweet um floral fruits it's mostly fruits and sweetness um, speaking of fruits and sweetness here is the jam of my youth couture couture from juicy couture now if you like fruity plummy sugary scents you actually will probably like this i don't think i'll be repurchasing it i've bought it several times in my life mostly for nostalgia reasons because this was a thing when i could barely afford a fragrance i splurged on something like that and I had, a, I, had a, I had Britney Spears perfumes. Oh, yes. Yes, God. Yes, Queen. Britney Spears perfumes were my thing when I was younger, much younger. A lot, a lot younger. So, um, and I still have one, by the way. I still have a Britney Spears in my collection right now. You'll see it in my total perfume collection. Uh, so, uh, this is another parfum spray. This is 50 ml. There's not a ton left here. I am sort of like into this perfume. I don't think I like wearing it in general out, but I like scenting things around me with it somehow. And it's very comforting, probably mostly because of nostalgia, because of the history I have with it. Um, so I, I'm not really wearing it much, but I do think this winter I'll probably use it up just to have it done. There's not very much left, probably around like what, 10, 12 mils, this is nothing. I've also thought of selling it. I'll see if anybody wants it, basically. Um, but uh, this may be a declutter or it may be a use up, depending on um, how I feel about it at that particular moment. Juicy Couture, Couture Couture is just a delight. It's a very happy, extremely sweet, sugary plum scent. If you're a fan of sugary plums, this might be a very affordable pick for you. See, see what you feel about it. But for me, a little bit juvenile, a little bit too um, girly, and a little bit too synthetic. But, I mean, good memories, hey? So, these are the scents that I'm running out of. Um, perfumes that are almost done. Let me know, what perfumes are you running out of? What are you finishing up? What are you working on getting done? Uh, I'm always curious. Are you somebody who uses up perfumes before buying other perfumes? I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Good luck. And... Uh, Keep on rocking it out. Stay safe. Bye-bye.